Hi everyone, how are you? Um, thanks for stopping by today. Um, my thumb is a lot better. It's no longer bleeding, although I, I do still have the basket. Because, you know, it takes a long time to make stuff and and it's all dried up and stuff. It's not like, I'm not giving it to anyone. I'm just saying, you know, you guys are a little close, no offense, but um, yeah, it's, I'm not giving it to anybody, but I was planning on making three uh, baskets today, but one of them requires my tag punch. And it can't just be any tag punch because it has to be the one that has the little slot at the top because that's where you stick the handle through, which is this, is the tag punch basket. But we can't make it today. Unless, <laughs> if you could see the mess, unless it just ra you know rises to the top as, you know, so I'm not gonna really show you that because we can't make it. So we have seen this one, which is the same as the yellow, less the blood. Also the magenta madness one. I also cannot find this, what does it say? Welcome spring, it's missing. So, you know, we could either leave it plain or I'll have to put something else on. A basket, a bunny, whatever. So today we are making this little basket, <laughs> minus that. Um, really quick to make it really cute. If you're having a party for your kids, you can put it at each kid's table or and then this, this one, which holds plenty of, like, a lot of candy. And, um, yeah, definitely holds candy. And, um, yeah, then you got the little bunny and, and the ribbon on both sides. About the ribbon, it's so old. I, I know it was with Gingham Gala paper. Um, and... Yeah, I couldn't find anything else that matched. But you can always use white, as I did here with the yellow. I have this ribbon, which is in the catalog. And I also put it on this yellow. Um, and not that I didn't have yellow of this kind. I just, I'm trying to be nice and, you know, not show you things you can't get. All right, so let me put you down. <clears throat> the first basket, oh, I lost a duck. The first one is going to be this one. And um, I, this is another thing. I made up little packets for myself, right? So I would know, um, and this is the tag topper punch basket that I can't use. And I, I like jot little notes that my brain might think it's gonna remember but there's no way it's gonna remember. So then I find myself making stuff up. No, I don't make stuff up, be silly. All right, let me see. So you need your scoreboard for this one. And I hope I remember it because the notes that I left myself are not good at all. So I, hi, look at this. I'm gonna put you down. I found this. I'm cleaning my craft room for the past six years. And it's getting to the point where I'm finding stuff. It's also getting to the point where I, um, I have boxes of stamps to sell. And I might have visited those boxes and took some stuff back. And I, I think that's my prerogative. I believe there's a song about that. So, I'm sorry, but you're all crooked. Um, so it's not my fault. It's whoever made up the word prerogative, their fault. All right, we can go down now. All right, so I have my Simply Scored scoring tool, and we are going to take a piece of six by six cardstock of, I know what I did now. This, I thought it was like a scrap. Last night when I was putting things in my little bags, it wouldn't fit six by six. So I scored it at two, folded it so that it could go in the bag. See, the problem is I'm too advanced for my own self. My own self is just 
too much smarter than my regular self. So let's just get right to scoring. Can you guys even see? All right, we are scoring. Oh, look at that, it's right there. We are scoring two inches all the way around. And that's kind of easy. Oops. All right, so you have a little checkerboard going on. I wish you guys could talk to me and tell me if you're too close, if you're too far. I'm getting out the scissors. It's gonna be all right though, I promise. So what we're going to do, let me refer to a note that I possibly wrote to myself, opposite side of the thin box my book tells me because I found my, bo my book. This is my notebook that I've had forever. And when I think of something, see something or do something, I write in it. And um, I just found it. And the notes in this book are worse than the notes on that little paper. But I saw that a page was turned over. Maybe that's another note from my smarter self. Oh, it is the other one we're gonna do. See, sometimes guys try it. Your not so thinking side is always thinking to help you out. All right, I can't find it. What I think you do is we fold and burnish and, oh, I didn't tell you, my daughter joined Stamping Up. Yep. I, I'm kind of taking credit for that because, you know, I'm crafty. And I'm hoping that she's crafty. Hoping you're noticing that I'm using my fingernail to score my tape burnish. Because I can't find it. You don't even know how much time I took in preparation for this. And um, the most I did was get the candy and the Diet Coke. Those are the two things that have worked out. All right, so what you would do at home when you're properly prepared is just use your scoring tool. All right, that might be a little too hard. Okay, so then you're going to cut up on the opposite sides. So I did these three, so we're going to go and do these three. Because if we cut all of them, we'll have a bunch of two-inch squares and nothing to do with them. All right, look at that. Okay, so we're going to flip it over, and we are decorating these six boxes, to which my smarter self planned out for us today. And I'm going to take my seal, which hopefully will get us through this two small Easter baskets. And I also have to tell you that I bought a paper shredder. I think that was the only one. I bought a paper shredder a few years ago, and it makes, do you guys remember the ready shreddy that we used to have? Well, it does that. Well, in, you know, my craft room where I've been cleaning it and everything, um, it's underneath my sewing machine and stuff, so I used my son's, who happens to be, have it right in my kitchen, I don't know why, um, and his does this. I know, it's anticlimactic. When you look at this, it's like, what would you rather have? So I apologize for my son's choice in uh, equipment. All right, so we are going to stick these guys on both sides of our basket. Oh, I was also prepared with my silicone mat. Oh my Lord. Well, that's gone too. So when I'm trying to eat dinner tonight, because this is where I sit, um, yeah, I'm going to have sticky all over the table. All right. Apparently I didn't cut these too, too straight either. So right now glasses would be great. I did prepare for this because inevitably I know what's happening. Oh, look how crooked that is. If they just help you, if you could just get over the fact that they're glasses. You know what it is? I 
grew up with glasses from like the day I was born, I think. And um, actually, when I was in the second, I mean, kindergarten, the teacher said I was having trouble seeing. I went to the eye doctors and they did a check. And then when we went to go pick the glasses up and we came outside and I, I don't know why I remember this. You know how you remember a couple of things, but maybe it was that crucial to me that I had to remember. But I remember walking out and asking my parents what happened to the leaves in the tree. And they were like, what are you talking about? I'm sure they didn't say it just like that because, you know, kids are cute when they're five. And um, I always thought that tree leaves were just a big glob. I didn't know they were individual. Same thing with bricks. My mother cried on the way home because she felt like she, you know, had failed me because I was going blind and they were making me try and see real leaves out of globs. All right, so what we're going to do now is the middle one's going to go in, and these two are going to go up. Uh, wait, why aren't you two done? Okay, there's that preparation thing again. I missed two. So now I don't even know what I cut these ones at. Oh. I'm so much better when I craft alone. Maybe I'm not meant for making videos. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, one and three quarters. No, I'm taking two eighths off. That's all I'm doing. And they're probably not gonna be the same as what's in there, but we're doing it anyway. That's okay, because they're both in the middle, so look the same but yet different to the other ones but same as across from each other everything does make sense if you just can get me to stop talking it usually makes sense all right so you also need to put squares on these two and I guess while you're at it if you wanted to put one on the bottom you go for it because it will look good if somebody drops their Easter basket. Alrighty, and this one goes here. Look at that, it's like I already knew. All right, we are now gonna take, this is bugging me just cause the score line is just not neat and I don't like that. So I just wanna straighten this a little bit. And you can cut these up on your trimmer and um, you know, they will come out better. Well. Now that I've got the best scissors that I shouldn't be touching, they are great. All right, so I am going to put glue on both, or seal, on like pretend little corners because it's going to go up and it's going to just grab right there and make a little V. So let me just double check what I'm doing before I... Yep, here we go, right here. Here and here, and here and here. And basically you can just put them, you know, wherever you want to make, um, how wide you want your basket, and how you can make it really small if you want. Of course, it holds candy, so I'm going with the big side. And it doesn't matter if this shows, because we are going to put the circle with the Easter Bunny in it. This little chip doesn't want to stay in. So I'm going to do the same over here. Probably should do it all at once, I'm noticing. Seal doesn't like me today. All right, same thing. We're going to bring this guy in. And I know you all saw that I just put the the glue or the, the seal on the wrong side. And I thank you for not pointing that out to me to make me feel bad. So I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. We are going to, you know what it's going to be good for? To hold the bunny when he gets on the side. All right. So I stamped two bunnies from 
the Springtime Joy set. And you do have to fussy cut. They do not have um, dies, but if you cut them in a circle, you don't have to fussy cut. I personally do not mind fussy cutting. Some people hate it. So I'm gonna use my blends. And I'm just gonna reach in because they're all beautiful. So I'm using uh, Dark Rich Razzleberry. It's pretty. Uh, maybe I'll do two. If you guys, you know, want to leave me a message, let me know if you like um, the blends or if you'd rather I do something. Oh, let's add some yellow would be pretty. Um, yeah, if you'd like me to make something else, if, you, if you'd like me to stop altogether, I get that. You let me know. I probably won't, but I get it. Oh, a little yellow. Do some green leaves. We are using, uh, oh, that's kind of dark. Hold on. Randomly, I'm going to pick light granny green apple. Oh, see, what a choice that was that I didn't make. And how about a pretty light blue? balmy blue. There we go. And now we can pick a darker green to do the leaves. How about just jade? I usually use the other end um, to color, but I noticed that nobody else does that. So I'm trying to be part of the group, you know? Okay, now we are going to punch that out with one and three quarters because I believe this is two inches. So I'm just going in and not cutting his whole body or her, whatever it wants to be. But I'm basically just doing whatever fits in my little circle here. Okay, now. Look at this, I'm prepared with some dimensional. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so, oh look, it's my notes. I just punched right over my notes. Boy, oh boy. I wonder why I stopped editing. Can you imagine? I would like edit 99% of the video. That's the rest of the notes. I'd spend the entire time and come up with one second of a finished project because the rest, I gotta fix this, because the rest would all be a mess. So, let's see if we can do this. I have faith in me. Hope you guys do. Because usually I'm not this, I mean I'm bad, but not this bad. If anyone wants to contact me during dinner tonight, my napkin will be stuck to the table. And my kids aren't little anymore and I can't blame them and say to my husband, I don't know what it is. The kids must have been doing something there. But, mm. all right, so we're gonna cross those again, like pretending that we didn't have a problem. You can use, if you don't have those punches, sorry, if you don't have the punches, you can um, use a die cut. If you don't have a die cut, you can stamp it, color it, and fussy cut it. You can trace something. Um, there are like a million ways to get a circle. And probably one way you can be dumb enough to put your thing on the same side as your notes. that. These are coming right along now. And <laughs> I think I'm just going to stick it there since there's so much sticky. Although this would be a good opportunity for us to take an undo lesson. I like do not craft without this and I have like 
a gallon bottle in my craft jar. So what it does is when you mess up, when you glue something, you give it a little squirt and you can do it over your photographs, you can do it over projects in your scrapbook album. You can just do it. And yes, it'll be a little bit scary, but it's okay. So as you can see, as it soaks in, it is unsticking. So because I have all the sticky on the wrong side, this is the time where I would put the cap on. And make sure you can see, I will scrape this off. Normally I would leave it because it will get sticky again and you can just go about your day and re-stick it in the right place. However, because I don't want any sticky there, we're cleaning it off. And you can rub it like this. And there it is. And there's no more sticky. And we'll wait a second and we'll get our um, handle ready while that dries. And I guess my old self did not prepare for a handle. So I'd be happy to do that for my old self. And we will make it three quarters of an inch. Why not? Sounds good. All right. Oh, no. Now I don't... What's this? Oh, perfect. Look at that. Now, if my... Um, if I knew where my silicone mat was, if I was prepared enough... Really, like sometimes I start and go, oh, I'm in, oh, I found it. Sometimes, and I'm just walking around to the other side of the unsticky table. And yes, I will use that undo. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, I did find it. Look at that. Um, what was I just saying? Yes, I will use it on my table to wipe away the residue of sticky that is there. Okay, so because it's so thin, what I wanna stick, I know it's gonna go off onto my table when I put the glue on. Don't know why I keep calling it glue today. We are using seal. So I turn it over, am I close enough? Can't wait to get back in my craft room. All right, again, I guess gotta get it going. And I do know the trick for this, and I keep forgetting to do it. But you basically pull it down, and when you get to the end, let it roll over, which then the sticky stays on the roller. Instead, if you pull it, it breaks the seal. Then we have to find it. That tape is in there somewhere, and we got to look for it. However, if you do that little roll, it should work fine. All right, so basically we're still a little wet, but I know that um, we're good enough to start sticking. So we are going to add some glue. And I will show you with um, a photograph if you would like at the end, but you can't tell me if you would like or not because I'm not live. And I'm not live because I totally 100% feel like I would be here by myself. And that would be lonely. Maybe I will pop it up. I'm going to do that since I remember the dimensionals. If you remember something, you should use it. And I'm not like those other girls that can get 50 on their hands at once. Just not that good. I do strive to be that good, but so far nothing. But I'm gonna keep trying. I wonder what we could do with all these little pieces. Probably do something crafty with them. Based, you know what? I'm gonna put 
the handle on first. And I'm not sure if that's in my notes or not. I'm making it audible here. And I'm just gonna stick it. What I do like to do, and I'll do it with my blends, is when you're doing a handle and it's gonna be curvy, if you just give it a little yank, it'll curl up for you and it'll keep it from, our little glue's coming out. Um, it'll keep it from bending. It'll just make it nice and curvy. And, oh, I just have to tell you, let's take a break. So you can fast forward to this. If I get a haircut, but I hurt my shoulder months ago. I don't know how, it just hurts. And it, it doesn't hurt if I do this, it's this one, so don't worry. But if I do it this way, oh my God, I, it goes right up to my brain, the pain. And it's been months and I keep thinking it's gonna go away, but I might have to check with my doctor. Anyway, now I can't remember what we were talking about. Let's think, let me have a sip, it might come to me. Nope. Nope, I got nothing. I could tell you what I've been working on. This is my barn to do with the new Hey Chicks uh, stamp sets and dies. So it's prepared for whatever I'm going to do. The problem is, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got the barn. Isn't that enough? So much pressure on me. All right. Well, I must have been thinking about something, but if I think of it, I'm going to come back on and make a video. Was it about having no one to come watch me if I did a live? No, because what else would I have said about that? All right, I guess I'm going to put you back down. Sorry. All right, so I was putting my little seal on, and you really just want to stick it right in on the inside. And as far as you want, I only made it like six inches because um, that's the size of the paper that I used. I used the um, the neutrals, the brights, the ink colors, those six by six papers that I don't know why I haven't used more because I honest to God have them in a box this big and there's a pile this big outside the box and over there I had to take all the Christmas ones out. So I'm gonna use them every day now except with the barn and the chicks. I don't know what to do with that. So anyway, that's what determined the height of my basket was um, how big my paper was. All right, and then we're just going to stick our little bunnies on the sides. Now, the one I made, oh, I did put a little bit of ribbon right there. This time, I know I have ribbon that is in the catalog, and it's just mint macaron, and it's really pretty. It's kind of shiny. I love it. Another tip for you, I'll show you at the end. Keep you waiting. So I can uh, tie a bow when I just have to stick it on. I have a bow maker. I don't think there's help for me. And the sad part is, is that I worked at a floor shop for like three years and made bows on a daily basis. Never had a problem. But put on a camera and that's it. Let me get out the scissors. I'm being careful. Because I can't tell you how much that hurt on my thumb. Like you use a thumb for everything. God, you couldn't, I couldn't do anything barely put a bra on, and that hurt like you could not imagine. Like, I could feel my heartbeat in my thumb. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but that's exactly what happened. Oh, it hurts so, so bad. But we're not going to let that happen again, are we? I'm going to not run with scissors. I'm going to be very cautious. Does this match? Pretty much. 
Look at these scissors go. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Now, was I smart enough to bring glue dots? Who wants to guess? Not me. Let's just take a little look. And I'm going to go with no. Right? Let's give it one more second of looking. Nope. I got the box, but I knew that was empty. Oh, my God. If you guys could see my table. Just trying so hard to put out quality programming. I sound like a PBS commercial. All right. I found my bone folder. Can't find my Stampin' Up! one. But, all right, they're gone, the glue dots. Up. Oh, look at that. Sometimes I surprise myself. All right, so we're going to stick our bow on. Well, both bows, if we know where the other one is. And we're going to make sure we get glue dots on. And we're just going to place it down here at the bottom of the bunny. And then we're going to do the same for the other side. Look at that, how cute. Now I will steal the candy and the grass from another basket. Oh, but these match so pretty. I can't take it from here. I'm going to have to take it from because this. Oh, no, look. These are caramel M&M's. Okay, I'm just going to eat one. All right, well, I'm going to take some of the ugly and one of the pretty. And then you stick in some candy. This one's a little overflow. I'll steal a couple. We know there should be nothing edible in this one. Well, I'm going to dump this out completely. All right, I know I should go decontaminate my hands now. Okay, so that's our first basket. Isn't it cute? Just look at these. I mean, really, for a teacher, if you have older kids, because I think I mentioned before that my children, who do not even live in this house, feel that we should be um, hiding eggs for them. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. I hear you. All right. So, one of the things... Was this what I was trying to remember? Nope, wasn't. I stick little glue dots, like right here, so that when I go to put it away... Well, this time I would add a new one, because that glue dot's a little bit far away from the end of the ribbon. So you just take a glue dot and you stick it right on your ribbon and then you stick this there. No pins, no unrolling. It's it's amazing. It, truly modern marvels of science that go through. All right. We are going to now go to bag B or number two, however you want to call it. All right, don't panic yet. It's here. All right, hang on. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. I mean, I don't think that was it that I was going to tell you, but, okay, every month, Dina, I don't know what her last name, Raquel maybe, she's at Creative, oh, my God, the Creativation, the... Something cave, the cre creativity cave. There it is. Every month she does bingo. And you like pay $35 and she gives you a ton of stuff. Like this isn't even everything. There was everything to make every card that she makes that night. You get everything to go with it except for the stamps, clearly. 
you get a whole spool of ribbon, you get a whole thing of um, pearls or, or rhinestones, whatever she uses, you get plus the paper, plus you get extra um, design a series paper, the six by six, in the everything. Then, that really was good, that m and Then, besides that, you get to play bingo. And it's like you pick your numbers and you send them in to her. She keeps a list and then she'll pick out numbers. And like when you, she picks the first one out and you type on, you know, we put B and everybody puts what they have, I-N-G, until you get to the end and someone spells bingo. And then the prizes, I mean, you get one of the prizes, she usually does four or five a night. I think four plus she gives out a prize for something else. Um, however, so the week, I, I won, first of all, you know. But I don't know what I was thinking when I picked choices. But anyway, um, there was one that you won um, the entire suite of um, the fine art suite. You could choose that. That means like the bundle, the paper, the gold foil, you know, the gold flaky things, the sticky to do with it. The entire page, that was one prize. Another prize was, um, oh, an entire group uh, color family. Why don't I have a catalog? God, I stink at this. You got the entire group color family of ink pads. You, you could even pick which group you wanted. You get the whole thing. What else? There was the, um, the thing I won that I can't remember what it is, but it was a bundle and it comes with, it was a bundle. Then she said, plus other stuff. So when it came, I got two pads, two packs of um, in the two um, in colors, the one that's leaving, the one that was here to stay for another year. Um, beads and and crystals and ribbon. I mean, ridiculous. Um, I forget what else she gave. Oh, the, um, what's this? Well-suited, the one with the um, the men printed paper and the dies and the stamp the whole suite that was another one and I think she said with other stuff it used it should balance out to like all the same price but anyway and one time which I would have picked even though I can like buy it at a discount something about winning I don't know um the whole every one of the blocks that we sell you could choose that and then last night was um, the bingo night was it last night on April. It was this week, and um, she gave out hundred dollar gift cards. Just shop with her and spend a hundred dollars. That's what the prizes were. It's insane. So I suggest, first of all, if you want to become a demonstrator, call me. If you don't have one, and if you want to shop, call me. If you want to. Go see what Dean is doing. You can go see, but remember your girl here if you're purchasing. Anyway, so it's the creativitycave.com. Her name is Dina, and I think it's R-E-K. Oh, well, it's on the paper here. Hold on. Why don't I just keep guessing? Well, no, I can't find it. Up oh, here it is. It is um, the Creativity Cave. Like T H E C R E A T I V I T Y cave dot com. And um, her name is Dina. And like this week, I will probably get my little packet and everything that came in it. And let me tell you, this is empty compared to what came in it. And like this week, she, you know, this month, she used a lot of the, um, what do you call these? the hydrangea set. So 
it's a lot of fun. And even if you don't win, you get a pile of stuff. And she gives you the directions. She'll send you the PDF, how to make every card that she made with the stuff that she sends you. It's amazing. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm going to go make my other little basket now. All right. Hey, if you guys could let me know if this camera's in a good place. It's in front of me, and I don't know how I could possibly put it behind me. And uh, I'm just not that clever. So, anyway, let me know. All right, so let's see what we might be making in this one. Because it looks like nothing was cut. Um... Oh, this is the tag topper punch, which you can't make because I can't find the tag punch. So, all right, we're just gonna have to, um, hmm, I'll have to, let's talk again. Um, I will do two projects, um, I hope on Friday. I'm trying to get on a regular schedule. However, this wedding is just gonna mess me up. and. If you leave because I'm not here, please come back because I really um, do want to be making videos. And here's, I just wanted to show you another card I was thinking of making with you. But as with my barn, I get a little too involved. And then it's a card that you don't want to give to anybody because it took so long to make. But this I made for my husband because we have our little wiener dog. But when you pull it open, it's, I wrote him a little note here and I, I took that part off. Um, yeah, isn't it cute? And then it just goes back like this. And then it's like this. It's, it was fun to make. And it's not that much work to make it. I like to make a big deal out of the littlest things. Um, I'd be happy to show you how to make that. If you're interested, um, it is in the catalog, the the, uh, to the mini catalog till June. Um, and I'd be happy to, you know, make that one. We can make another one with it also. Um, and I, get, I guess that's it for the day, unless you want to keep chatting. But I know you don't. My kids just are horrified that I make videos. But I don't care. They don't live here anymore. So let me know in the um, comments what you would like, and if it's to stop talking, I already know that, so you don't have to write it. Um, I would appreciate it if you would um, hit the like button, become a subscriber, make a comment, share it with some, any of those things that everyone asks you to do when they make a video. So I hope you have a great night, day, and I apologize for just this one gorgeous basket. I know. I know. You guys, honestly, stop talking. I can hear you now saying, Karen, stop talking. All right. Well, let me just tell you that my craft room is almost done. And the poor girl that comes to help me, every time she comes back, it's in a complete worse state than when she left. And I do feel bad. And I'm giving her tons of free stuff. Don't think I'm neglecting her at all. I'm trying to look and see if I have any of that stuff cut out for the other the other basket. And I don't. But I, you know what? I'm going to look for the tag punch and cut the other. This was the other basket. And find the directions for this. And this was the other one. So these would be the two. Um, and, and then try and get a video out tomorrow or late tonight when my family's sleeping and I can't. So I hope you have a really good day and leave your comments and all that other stuff. I appreciate it. So have a great day. Bye-bye.